I'm Chris Ford with Design Precasting Pipe, and today we're going to show the efficiency of Design Precasting Pipe's patent pending incorporated cable lifter. Um, we've got two machines set up with two different kinds of pipe. One, the traditional kind of pipe with a hole in it for lifting and laying. And on the right, you've got Design Precasting Pipe's uh, incorporated cable lifter for ease and efficiency on the job site. Now, follow me, and I'll show you the tools it takes to lay each size pipe. First, we have Design Precasting Pipes Incorporated Cable Lifter, which as you can see, leaves no displaced concrete or steel in the pipe, and the cable is able to stay in the pipe and doesn't have to be plugged or cut. Um, all it takes to lay pipe with Design Precasting Pipes Incorporated Cable Lifter is a shackle, hooked to another shackle, and a swivel hook. This never has to leave the machine during digging operations and grade shooting operations. As you can see, it's only about two feet long, so there's no harm to anybody in the trench during laying pipe. In contrast, you have traditional pipe. Come up here and have a look at the hole. The hole is for this cable, this choker, to go through and then a bar inside the pipe to lift. Now this hole also has to be plugged using some sort of ram neck or butyl mastic material as well as grout or cement of some sort to plug the hole that way there's no infiltration of water or organics into the stormwater system also in order to lay the pipe with a hole in it you've got a, a solid what you call a pinch bar or pry bar um, that's heavy enough to, to withstand the weight of the pipe and kind of the same setup as designed precast um, traco that, that you laid with the cable lifter. Um, this, of course, along with the pinch bar, the cable you have to hook and unhook, the bucket of grout, and the ram neck are all the tools necessary to lay pipe with a hole in it the traditional way. Now we're going to get started and show the time difference it takes. Um, it, it, we're not going to lay pipe, but we're going to just move it to show you the steps it takes to, to hook and unhook pipe and to plug the hole. So let's get started. Okay, now we're gonna, the machines are cranked up and we're gonna pick the pipe up from the center as it's laid out um, in, in a demonstration fashion beside the ditch and we're just gonna move them out and show you the full procedure. All right guys, go ahead and get started. to hook the cable up on the pipe with the hole in it. As you see with the incorporated cable lifter, the ease of hooking the cable, he's hooked and moving the pipe. This, he would be now setting the pipe in the hole and it's unhooked and ready to go. This side, they're still trying to get the bar in the cable. If there's not an available man on the right, the operator can also elect to hook the pipe himself. As you see, with not much difficulty. Still much easier and faster than these guys who are still grouting the lifting hole on their first piece of pipe. As 
as you see, we've been able to move four pieces of pipe with the incorporated cable lifter theoretically into a ditch. And these guys are just finishing up their first piece of pipe and getting it plugged and ready to be installed.